No one will ever take away your confidence from you besides yourself. You need to stop self-sabotaging yourself, your self-confidence, your self-growth, your mental health. Don't just create boundaries and expect people to know that, okay, um, you're not supposed to say this because this triggers something about it. You need to look at life as half full rather than half empty. But you tell him you're fine, man. Big things he got the dynamo. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Ashley and I'm God's favorite child. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It's been so long since I've sit like in front of the camera. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, honey. You know what I mean, sir? <laughs> um, first things first, I would like to say one of the key things that help you grow your confidence as a person, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically, it's protecting your energy. You need to protect your energy and the people that access that energy. Yes, of course, self-confidence is from within, you know, it's all about how you perceive yourself. It's all about how you view yourself, what you feed your mind, but that also ties with protecting your energy the people that surround you what they speak into your life what they say about you to pay close attention to the people that you let into your safe space because they also have an influence on your self-confidence i feel like self-confidence is more of emotional you know emotional intelligence and how you perceive yourself and how you treat yourself and how you go about hate and all those other negative things out there in the world protect your mental health protect your energy you need to create boundaries with the people around you with your friends with your relatives with your family you need to create boundaries you need to let them know those boundaries don't just create boundaries and expect people to know that okay um you're not supposed to say this because this triggers something about me or this triggers a certain place in my heart or a certain past or experience in my life how would they know when you don't tell them so another thing is you need to let the people around you know those boundaries after you set them don't just set boundaries and then expect people to know you should be aware about what you feed yourself what you feed your mind, your soul and your spirit also affects the way you perceive yourself as a person. So if you're going to feed yourself things that are not going to help you grow as a person mentally, emotionally and spiritually, then obviously that's going to deter your self-confidence because you're not going to see yourself as something greater than that because of the fact that you're not feeding yourself things that are not going to make you grow, things that are going to make you inter emotionally intelligent, things that are going to make you mentally mature and things that are going to make you illiterate. Reading books, reading, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos and listening to chit chat videos like these also help you grow as a person and through growth you gain self-confidence. Whatever we watch, whatever we feed our mind to, whatever we feed our soul to, whatever we feed our spirit to also affects our self-confidence. If you watch things that suppress your beliefs and try and relate to what you believe in and try and make you feel like whatever you're doing is not it, then there is definitely work to be done. You need to accept that certain things happen for a certain reason and you should be content and happy with that you need ladies and gentlemen to accept whatever comes your way and like you need to accept that this is it you know this is reality i'm not happy about it but then this is what it is certain things happen for a certain reason and you should be able to accept that verdict in life you know this is so cliche i know it everyone talks about no nah, accept rejection as redirection the moment you see every negative effect or aspect of your life and treat it with a positive optimism right treat it with positive optimism you're more likely not to even feel sad to begin with because look at it this way you know the saying half a half half a glass half full rather than half empty that is a perspective you have to have you need to look at life as half full rather than half empty see rejection as redirection see this as another door is being another door another opportunity is being opened because this one has been closed for a certain reason okay god just closed this door because I was not meant to access it you know but then he opened this door he has now made it known that this door is meant to be accessed because he has closed the one that i thought was for me that's how you need to look at life you need to have 
an optimistic approach to everything you need to see rejection as redirection okay this thing or this whatever i have done has not worked out whatever i've been focusing my energy on is not working out because that is not meant for me it's meant for someone else and whatever is meant for me is actually now being accessed is now being approached because of that redirection rejection atmosphere and rejection approach you've given to life and everything about it like everything is redirection like literally if you see that this road is shut and has been blocked these are literally you're gonna look for another road that's how life is if a door is closed you're most likely going to look for another open door for you you know to stop letting people make decisions for you and make them for yourself and the reason why i'm saying this is if you make people make decisions for you they are going to inflict their own personal ideology onto you and now you have to live up to their standard so you need to make sure that you make your own decisions and you need to stop living up to people's expectations but live to your own and to god's own expectations about you because the moment you you let people make decisions for you number one you're going to be forced to live to their dream not yours their passion not yours their hopes their dreams not yours and number two if you let people make decisions for you you will not have the mindset the independent mindset to be able to now make your own decisions when you're now at a certain stage where there is a decision that needs to be made but you are not able to make that decision because you're so dependent on people making decisions for you so another thing is you need to start living to your full potential as a person you need to start following your dreams and doing things that make you happy because those also have um have an effect on your self-confidence as a person so the moment you start living to your own expectations start making your own decisions you start doing the things that make you happy you're most likely to be confident in your career in your life in your dreams in everything set your mind to be confident because you know it's coming from within and it's not being enforced by someone else from another you know some other person but it's your thing it's your dream and it's your calling and it's your virtue it's like your thing you know self-confidence is about yourself you get what i mean it's about yourself so if you focus on yourself what you take in your mind your spirit your soul what you feed yourself setting boundaries making sure you are safe you you can you hear that? I'm emphasizing again you are okay then that is how you start unlocking the keys to self-confidence by focusing on you the things that make you happy the things that make you feel fulfilled the things that help better your mental health the things that make you grow emotionally especially the things that make you become a better person the things that build you define you self-confidence is not about anybody else but you honey you get what i mean <laughs> do not feel pressured by someone else's self-confidence and focus and on nurturing your own like if someone is 10 times more confident than you it doesn't mean that they're you're not confident it means you're still growing with your confidence so do not feel pressured by others someone else's confidence that you're like i feel like i'm not confident but you are just that someone has got a higher in emotional and mental um growth or intelligence more than you because they've been growing for a longer period of time they've been working on it more than you have so never feel like because someone is more confident if someone feels like this and you don't feel the same way it does not mean that you're not self-confident you're probably your self-confidence journey is different from someone else's so never feel pressured by someone else's self-confidence journey that you start you know you start belittling your own be nice to yourself do not pe do not pin yourself down and do not feel like you are nothing do not say do not tell yourself that you're nothing and you, do not say anything negative to you because that is how you will never feel confident if you start setting yourself for failure that's just sabotaging yourself by telling yourself that you're not good enough you're never gonna get it you know other people are doing it better than you that is how you start ruining and killing your self-confidence by self-sabotaging yourself we tend to do this as human beings when we self-sabotage ourselves by belittling ourselves comparing ourselves comparison is the, is the thief of joy so the moment you start comparing yourself to someone else someone else is going to be at a bigger it's at a higher level of their journey more than you and if you compare yourself to each and every person who's doing much more than you you're never gonna be happy sweetie you're never gonna be happy ladies and gentlemen so also focus on nurturing that and that is when you see that okay so I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually that girl that I think I am I'm actually that guy that I think I am I'm, I'm actually that person you know that I think I am and nobody can take that away from me trust me the moment you're confident no one and I mean no one 
and i mean it again no one will ever take that away from you trust me on this no one will ever take away your confidence from you besides yourself no one will ever because the moment you do not set boundaries for someone they're most likely going to violate you because you did not set boundaries you are the only one who can kill yourself confidence by self-sabotaging yourself setting yourself up for failure and surrounding yourself with people that do not help you grow as a person so guys this is it for the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and remember that you can do anything you can set your mind to whatever you believe in and you are confident you are the girl that you think you are you are the guy that you think you are and you are that person that you think you are okay okay <laughs> So thank you so much, we like shit. Please do share this video with someone you feel like needs to hear this because this is this is it, you know. This is something that I've been wanting to speak about for a long time because I feel like as people we tend to self-sabotage ourselves a lot. You so you sabotaging yourself for failure because you are sitting you sub you 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 you're sabotaging yourself like you need to stop self-sabotaging yourself your self-confidence your self-growth your mental health stop sabotaging yourself by not setting boundaries surrounding yourself with protect not protecting your energy not affirming yourself not feeding your mind spirit soul and body stop sabotaging your self-confidence stop sabotaging your self-growth stop sabotaging your dreams stop sabotaging your life by letting people make decisions for you you are your own person i i i, I said what i said and i'm <laughs> i said what i said and i feel like i've said enough so thank you so much until we meet again stay true <laughs> oh my gosh don't stay shining team a star we are a star students we're a star citizens we're a star children of god so stay shining stay true and stay you stay you stay true and stay shining team a star until we meet again bye <laughs>